Okay guys, it's KJM and I'm back with another countdown to Christmas movie review. Last night, I think 6 p.m. Eastern, A Tale of Two Christmases premiered starring Kat Burrell and um, Evan Roderick and Chandler Massey. So Kat plays Emma, Evan plays Max, and Chandler Massey, he played um, Drew. So basically, this should have been called A Tale of Two Christmas Eves, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so it's a story about how Emma, an architect, makes a Christmas wish to a Santa that she wants everything in her life to go right. And she's supposed to be flying out Christmas Eve morning back to Vermont, um, you know, to her family. So now she makes this wish. She wakes up in the morning or what seems like it and... We see that she's experiencing two Christmases, like I said, really two Christmas Eves, where one, she um, ends up staying in Chicago because she missed her flight. So she ends up staying in Chicago and meets this perfect guy who's a lawyer, Max, and they hang out all day. She gets another chance to um, fix her model for her project. She gets the project that's supposed to be in Miami, and she has this like perfect life in one in one of the Christmases. And the other Christmas, she makes the flight, makes it back to Vermont, sees her childhood friend Drew, um, you know, picks up a project there, realizes that she's always been in love with Drew, who calls her Perfect Emma, comes to find out he calls her Perfect Emma, not because he thinks she's perfect in every way, but just because she's perfect for him. So Emma has to choose between these two lives, her life in Chicago with, you know, Perfect Matt, Max or her life in Vermont with Drew. She ends up choosing Drew. Okay, so for a tale of two Christmases, let me just tell you right now, I was not invested in neither Christmas. Um, the writing was flat, the acting was flat, the lead actress was so clumsy, the chemistry was missing with her and both guys. I could care less about this movie. This movie, even as background noise, I just wouldn't even do it. Um, but you know, they gave us a little twinkling of a light. They gave us some snow. So I'm just gonna give it a five out of 10. Um, but it really just was not good. There was little diversity and inclusion, like her best friend was of Asian descent. That was about it. Like I wouldn't waste my time on this one. And it kind of sucks because it sounded like it was going to be good. But for the most part, the movie was a bit confusing. And it just wasn't interesting no matter which Christmas you were in. I felt like I was in hell watching it. All right, I'm KJM. Stay tuned for the next movie review. And I'm out.